comedy and politics. You know, it's a it's an interesting um, thing how how the two work uh, sometimes against each other and and sometimes sadly for each other. Um, you know, I if a comedian, for instance, had made fun of George W. Bush and then Barack Obama and then Donald Trump, you know, like. I, I feel like that is, you know, in some ways, uh, the responsibility of certain types of, uh, comics. Like, for instance, um, if you are a, you know, late night host or a, uh, comedian who, who deals in, in politics, yeah, you should be able to criticize all of them. And, and I think my biggest, um, you know, frustration is to see these these comics who um, made fun of George W. Bush, and then when Barack Obama was in office, they they basically took a break from that type of stuff, and now that Trump's in office, they're you know back at it. And I mean, I remember years ago, you know, Will Ferrell's portrayal of George W. Bush was really hilarious at times, and. There was a lot of good anti uh, George W. Bush comedy that would go on during those years and poke fun at really serious issues. I mean, the best is, of course, uh, I mean, at least with the Bush era, one of the best of all is uh, you know guys like uh, Dave Chappelle and and and, and Bill Burr and you know Eddie Griffin deserves a lot of credit for the the jokes he made about Obama in in the early years of the Bush, of the Obama administration too but like nowadays you know so much of the late night comedy and comedy we see about about Donald Trump it's so incredibly lame and repetitive it's Oh, Donald Trump, Russia, ha, Hitler, ha, ha, Nazi, Russia. I mean, it's none of it's really that original. It's, I mean, the, the, uh, the Showtime cartoon series, which is actually, I believe, produced by Stephen Colbert, uh, my cartoon president, it's actually pretty funny because it does a good job of not just making fun of of Donald Trump, but also portraying the Democrats as uh, robotic and uh, you know lifeless, where they're just really fake in the in the cartoon series as well. Like my cartoon president makes fun of the Democrats and Republicans, which is great. But so much of the comedy we see nowadays is just you know Republican bad, Democrat good, and they're you know doing so much to promote the Democrats. Uh, recently, Joe Biden was on the Jimmy Kimmel show, and Jimmy Kimmel asked Biden about had a, quote, decent man like Jeb Bush been elected president, would would he still be, Joe Biden still be running for president? And it, it was insane to think that, like, a decent man like Jeb Bush? What? What? You know, it, and it did kind of show me that, like, things would be a lot different had a, a different Republican uh, been elected. It'd still be, you know, criticisms and protests, probably, but not anywhere on, on this level. And I'm no fan of Trump either, but it's like, had somebody like Jeb Bush actually been somehow elected president... I think the the systems that be, the you know the control mechanisms of you know the media and, and, and the entertainment system and so forth would have probably um, gone along with it a lot better. Try to you know control people's frustrations a little differently. And getting back to the whole thing about comedy, it's like you take a guy like Dave Chappelle or Bill Burr who, you know, 
are critical, essentially, of all politicians, you know, and, and they're getting blasted for their more recent comedy specials, and it's like, are you kidding me? If you actually listen to the content of these uh, people, you know, they're, they've done a lot to, to talk about really serious issues in, in a funny way, almost like in the spirit of George Carlin. But uh, the comedy nowadays is so lame. You know, like, for instance, take uh, Alec Baldwin's portrayal of Donald Trump. It's I've never really laughed at it. It's just kind of like weird and gross looking, and I don't find it funny. You know, and it's everything about this, you know, Russia joke. It's it's so dragged out and, and it's like beating a dead horse and it's it's lazy comedy and you know comedy can be used to make a huge difference uh, in people's political mindset but you know one of the many reasons why Hillary Clinton probably lost in 2016 is conservatives are probably sick of being made fun of on a daily basis in, in American uh, life you know it's Every portrayal of a conservative is, uh, you know, essentially Roseanne Barr, like, oh, you're dumb, you're fat, you're racist, you're, you're Republican, you're an idiot. Oh, and here's the, you know, lefty who is so smart and so cultured and blah, blah, blah. And they probably got sick of that. And did the, and did the entertainment industry learn anything from the 2016 election that, yeah, maybe, like, shitting on a huge population of the country uh, wasn't perceived well by those people. And so now over the last two, almost three years since uh, Trump won the election, you know, have they changed any of that? No, it's continuing, continuing, continuing to, to call conservatives and Republicans stupid and racist and so forth and and you know not, I'm not really wanting to defend conservatives that much either but uh, calling them stupid and racist every day is not going to win them over and I mean you're not going to shame a Republican into voting for a Democrat that's pretty much the goal um, or maybe they think by you know shaming and bad-mouthing uh, conservatives, that's a great way to empower uh, more people to their side? I don't know. But there is a role between comedy and politics. And the funny thing about it is that you know, with Donald Trump, uh, there is a lot of content to make fun of. I mean, those are <laughs> that's actually a quote by him... Uh, you know, when he was making fun of Rand Paul, he said, if, believe me, if I wanted to make fun of him, I, I there's a lot to work with. And, you know, there are, you could be making fun of Trump all the time, but, you know, I'm not a comedian, but a lot of these people who are the professional comedians making fun of him, it's just, you know, Hitler times Russia equals joke. And it's, it's really lame and most of it is not funny and there's stuff to make fun of them and here's the craziest part of all and I'm not the first person to say this I know that Joe Rogan has, and other people have said this that like it or not in many ways Donald Trump is a comedian I mean that's what he does he goes up there and he essentially unlike anyone before him he uses the podium to to basically riff these you know these stand up routines i mean that's what he's doing it's not yeah it's not presidential it's not a typical speech most of the time i mean when he goes to things like the un or something real somber he'll put on his big boy pants and you know pretend pretend to be all presidential but uh, for the most part, 
you know, these Trump rallies that we see, it really is like Trump goes up there with probably, you know, one page of a speech that he's supposed to read off at, throughout the throughout the time, but half the time he's just riffing or whatever it's called, you know, like going off and and making fun of people and and he's performing and of course he is. He's he's been in Hollywood and he's done acting and he's had a TV show and he knows comedians and I mean hell he was at the uh, he had, there was the 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 Comedy Central roast of uh, Donald Trump years before he ran I mean he's familiar he probably knows a lot of comics and so you know I mean I gotta say it again that 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 sick burn he did when uh, when he was in the debate with Hillary and she said, you know, thank God we don't have someone in the White House with the temperament of Donald Trump. And he goes, yeah, because you'd be in jail. I mean, I don't like Trump, but, you know, how, how can you not laugh at one or two things the guy has said or maybe he says? I mean, you can disagree with all of his policies, but, you know, you almost have to kind of pull back from the whole idea of everything and just realize, like, politics really is a joke it's 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 just a charade it's you know to give us the illusion that the people are deciding and when really everything's decided in closed rooms uh by a lot of really wealthy people and we have no say in it and democrat versus republican it's you know it's just marketing you know it's the same crap uh just in a different packaging and um you know, the Democrats and Republicans are basically the, you know, brand of red crap or blue crap. And uh, especially when Trump first ran, you know, he wasn't liked by either parties because his he had his, he had his own crap. Uh, it's still crap, but it was his own crap that he was selling. But, um, you know, comedy could be used uh, uh, to really change people uh, politically but I don't think that's going on right now because all the jokes uh, tend to be regurgitated and, uh, you know, the same. And uh, and the funny part as well is that the people that might have the best points when it comes to politics through comedy like are the, like, Bill Burr and Dave Chappelle and so forth are maybe the guys that we're going to uh, censor the most or or try to censor the most. And that's, uh, that's a shame.